immediately, I would just like to say, first night in the van waking up to this um, for free? This is crazy. I am so excited for what next year is about to hold. Super early morning here. We got we got an Uber at 5.50. That's gonna get me to the airport. And then my flight's not till 7.50, but I haven't flown in a while and I wanna make sure I get on the plane. <sighs> Today is the day. First test drive, just getting a burger. Dude's been showing me around, it's been awesome. I'm um, so excited, this thing is incredible. Just grabbing a burger, coming back. We're not there yet, but we're close. I think it is time to put the hat on. And it's here, it is here. Freaking van life. Sadly, this is gonna be an interesting video, short video, because <laughs> I've got 15 hours to drive home. I'm technically working tomorrow at 6 p.m. right now. I've gotta figure out where I'm getting to, what kind of hotel I'm getting at, but it's a good, good freaking day, and I am glad you're all here to enjoy this with me. Time to hit the road. Hey, you. Well, yeah, you guys have seen me eat McDonald's enough in the last few videos. It's so convenient when you're on the road. I just wanted to stop, get some caffeine, and I haven't eaten basically all day because I flew in, went right to the dealer, and he was showing me the vehicle for the last four hours. Shout out to Josh. Josh was amazing at Leisure RV. Showed me more. I, I asked a million questions. He showed me more than I ever could have wanted to see. So real happy with the delivery process of this vehicle. Time to get back on the road. It's been a while since we filled up diesel. All right, so far I gotta say Mercedes platform has been amazing. I have two minor gripes and that is the vinyl seats like sweat box uh it's so sweaty to sit on those and it's not even hot out it's like 50 degrees 40 degrees right now um and then the only other thing is to see the range left right so how many miles you have left until you're empty it's one very specific screen you can't have that like static on the screen aside from that super comfortable to drive auto cruise control 360 cameras the lane you know assist if you bump the side like all of that, especially for a car this big, is just making it a great driving experience. So we're filling up. I'm going to keep driving for a little while. I think I'm going to find a place to just pull over and hopefully sleep in this tonight. So I will see you guys there. All right, so right now the plan, we got some beer we're going to throw in the fridge. So hopefully it gets cold soon. Got some breakfast in here. And then basically the plan is I think we're going to go to a camp spot. So I found a spot on Ioverlander. It's supposed to be near a boat dock. Should be pretty cool. I'll see you guys there. So it looks like this is actually BLM land. Complete silence out here. It's just me. I feel safe. First things first, let's see. Well, I didn't get that cold, but. Pilsner. Oh, that's good. This is such a cool experience. All right, so that's set to 70, that's on. Volta is on. I don't need the inverter, so I think I'm gonna leave that off for now. There's no reason to turn it on. Uh, water tanks are empty, we know that. I think that's it. Heat's on, that's all we had to do. So let's set up the bed. All right, well, I'm just gonna apologize for the flickering. It's the best I can do. I'm gonna have to mess with these LEDs. I can't seem to get a frame rate that's not gonna flicker. Well, that clearly took way too long. That that was awesome. Um, <laughs> I gotta get the window shades on. I think that's gonna take a little bit longer. Let's try that. All right, so we're all done. Every window is now covered. Now, one thing I'm not sure of, if you guys know, is the cloth side supposed to face in and the reflective side faces out, vice versa? I was able to install them kind of both ways. So honestly, I'm not sure, but uh, it's time for me to get some sleep. I am exhausted. Hopefully no one knocks on the door. We'll see how it goes though. See you guys in the morning. Ooh. That was honestly an incredible night's sleep. I, I wanna keep sleeping, but I gotta get on the road. Look at that view out the window too. I'll go out there and show you guys real quick. Man. Look at that. And if you're wondering, it is currently 
67. If you can hear the noise, that's all I heard. So that noise right now is the heater running. That's all you hear all night. Kept it at a nice 67 all night. It was so nice. Barely uh, even realized like you're outside in this 30 some degree environment. Immediately, I would just like to say, first night in the van waking up to this um, for free. This is crazy. I am so excited for what next year is about to hold with me in this van and the adventures we're gonna go on. This is gonna be my office today. We just ran into that grocery store over here. You know you're in Colorado when you see the snow on the ground. Currently on the last fill up. I'm about 42 minutes from home. So ready to get home. <sighs> one thing I, one thing I've learned with these pumps is certain diesel ones just take forever. I'm talking like could take a half hour to fill up your tank. Other ones seem to be normal like gas. Don't remember that from years ago when I drove diesels, but something I've had to learn on the road here. So I wanna kind of wrap this one up and just say thank you for joining me on this adventure. We're gonna be doing so many videos out of this van. That was the whole point of getting this. I'm basically just gonna to try to live on the road as much as possible. And I really wanna focus on getting to remote areas. So I wanna go out, take my dog. I'll be working from the car. I'll be hanging out, living in here. So stay tuned. Any questions you have on this vehicle, I'll be doing a full tour. I'm gonna to be doing installs on this. So we got a lot coming forward. Let me know, comments below for a reason. Appreciate it guys. Thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to follow along on this journey. And as always, it's been a pleasure.